This is just a video to show my newest project. This is a Revell 1248 scale model of the American B-1B bomber. And uh, even though it's a very nice plane, I don't like the use of it, so I'm going to turn it into something fun. In this case, a submarine. It will be, of course, a dynamically diving submarine. And uh, I just want to show how I figured out how to do it. And if you all had some remarks for me, encouragement, criticism, or maybe some hints on how to do it better, you're welcome, of course. This is the electronics that will drive the submarine. I will explain it down in the text below. And uh, well, and now I want to show you how I put it in. It took me a while how to, fi to figure out how to put the electronics inside for I had no waterproof compartments on the first look that is. But then I found that the two front bomb bays and the rear bomb bay as well as the casing for the landing gear are perfect places to install the electronics. And I do it like this. I just close them with some plexi material and do the classic thing that all people do when they build submarines. Or a lot of people do when they build submarines. It's a proven angle way to do it. So this is where the receiver goes. This is where the battery goes. There is no glass on here because the battery will be waterproof. I'll just dip it in latex. Very easy and very comfortable to change it. And here, this is a control mechanism for the aft uh, steering. As you can see, I have magnetic couplings for the gears. So the servo drives just this little slider here and the slider is coupled with a magnet to pull the rod. It can push or pull as much as 600 grams. I tested it. So this will be quite waterproof and this will be closed in the same fashion as with all the other submarines. To show the assembly I came up with, I first take it all apart again. First thing, I'm going to show you how the engines are mounted. Very easy. This is one of the engines. You just put it through here. Check. Et voila. This is how the engines are mounted. And then, after mounting the engines, you just close it. Very easy and, of course, reversible which is very important if you have a defective motor or something. So, with the engines installed, we put back the swept wings. As you can see, they are movable. The mechanics go in here. And this total assembly goes here. So, I will have the mechanics going round there. Then came, comes the battery, the RC equipment, the aft wings, and of course 
Voila. With a little bit of imagination, you can make out how this submarine is going to be flying underwater.